Hello YouTube, it's Nick here from microiphone.com and I'm back again for another video and this is another Green Poison Jailbreak. Now this time it is going to be for Windows users. Now I know a lot of you commented on that Mac video saying that it, it's, no, it's not worth it because most of you are Windows users. So they have updated it and it now works for Windows so if you go to the link in the description and download or go to greenpoison.com which is going to be the link in the description or you can go to the mirrors which we will provide um, you can download it for Windows. Now I checked Linux, it doesn't work as of yet. If you're a Linux user, just hold out and it should be there in a couple of days or so. So you go to the website and you download Green Poison, just go to the Windows tab right here and you click download. So we just download it like so and it will be a RAR file. So obviously you will need WinRAR for it to then open up the application itself. So when it's done, you can just simply open it and um, we're good to go from here so that we can now close the internet and um, excuse the twilight stuff and you know all about this, this is my sister's laptop because obviously I don't use windows but um, you just simply want to open up green poison like so and you should get something that looks like this now if we just zoom in for you guys a little bit um, make sure your device is running on iOS 4.2.1 again this is for all devices so all iPhones like the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, iPhone 3G I believe all iPod touches I'm going to do it on the iPod touch 2G for you guys as you can see that is the iPod touch 2G there's no camera but just believe me guys this is the iPod touch 2G uh, light is not the best um, but it is the iPod touch 2G as you can see very scratch and everything but there you go now, um, yeah, it works on all iPod touches as well and the iPad. Now, again, make sure you're on iOS 4.2.1. So if you go to Settings, General, About, you can see we are running version 4.2.1. So we're good to go on that aspect. Now, when you have Green Poison open, if we just move this to the side so you can see what I'm doing on my device as well at the same time. Um, what you need to do first is a bit different to the Mac version, so you need to prepare to jailbreak DFU. So you get to basically put it in DFU mode. So what you need to do is simply click that and get ready to start. It'll give you a countdown, and then you hold the sleep button for three seconds. Continue holding the sleep, but press and hold the home button for ten seconds. So let that count down. You see the device turns off. Now you can release the sleep button but keep your thumb on the home button and let it do its thing. Again, apologies for the light in like on the iPod but you can see I am holding the home button and it is now ready to jailbreak. So you're in DFU mode, as you can see black screen is unresponsive. If iTunes pops up just close it down. Now what you need to do is just simply click the jailbreak button. You're all done on the iPod, so the iPod, sorry. So all you need to do is let Green Poison do its thing. So you click jailbreak, and it should run through on this bar right here. You'll see stuff happening on your device, but just let it do its thing, guys. It's very simple, very easy to do. So this is the Green Poison jailbreak for Windows users, guys. I know a lot of you wanted that, so it's finally released. Uh, it should run through some code. So just let it do its thing. It should take a little bit of time, not too long. And then you should be fully jailbroken. This is an untethered jailbreak, guys, so no more of that tethered boot and whatever you have to do. This is an untethered jailbreak, so you will not have to reconnect your device every time that you want to um, reboot. Okay, so it says jailbreak complete and it runs through the code on the device. And we'll come back when this is done. Okay guys, so it's done, it's booting up, you get the green poison boot up logo. You might not like that, but I believe there is something going to be coming to Cydia or some way of changing this boot logo uh, very soon in the future. So when that does happen, we will make a video of course. Okay guys, so we have booted up, of course it's going to take a bit longer on Windows than it does on Mac, that's to be understood, but if we slide to unlock and we go over, we now have the loader application. So if we click that and open it up, it will load the sources. Make sure if you're on an iPod Touch or an iPad or Wi-Fi iPad, you make sure you're connected via Wi-Fi first. 
and obviously you can install Cydia. So unlike the Mac version when I showed you, Cydia is already there, so we do not have to run the fix load or anything like that. I believe Green Poison has been updated now, so you shouldn't have to do that anyway. But um, so if we click Cydia and install it, and just let that do its thing, it shouldn't take too long to download that. And that's pretty much it, guys. This is an untethered jailbreak for the all iPhones all iPod touches and all iPads, or there's only one iPad but you know what I mean and this is for iOS 4.2.1 with Green Poison and this is the Windows version if you're on a Mac guys check out our Mac version, this is the previous video to this, this is the Mac version um, but this video is for the Windows users out there so let this download Cydia and I'll be back when Cydia is done ok so it's done installing Cydia of course we can close the uh, the Green Poison application now so we can just click quit but if we slide to unlock and scroll over we now have Cydia and you are jailbroken on iOS 4.2.1 so I'm going to let this do its thing but actually I'll do that in a later, t later stage but if I just again show you on the settings we are running iOS 4.2.1 Cydia does work guys but there you go version 4.2.1 so we have Cydia under the jailbreak on all iPhones, all iPod touches and the iPad um, and that's pretty much it guys all the links you need are in the description if you're on a Mac go to the video uh, in an annotation on the video or go to our previous video and this is for Windows guys so that's pretty much it, it's Nick here from MyGrowIphone.com if you have any questions, any if you need any help leave them in the comments down below and I'll get back to all of you as best I can and that's it so I'll see you all in the next video and I thank you all for watching